Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another classic Western film. Here on Westerns on the Web, we believe that Westerns are timeless, that these classic Westerns, that these older ones are timeless entertainment fit for the whole family to see, and they have a lot of good values and lessons to teach. And that's why we're sharing them. Westerns on the Web has literally thousands of Western films in our archives that we're planning on sharing, and some of them are extremely rare films. Kick your boots up, relax, get ready for another action-packed Western, and we'll see you after the show. Sounds like trouble on the other side, boss. Yeah. Put around up the boys. Okay.
headed for the river. Well, I've given us a slip again. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Better ride back on the red step and uh, notify the sheriff. All right, Dick. Rest of you boys better get back over on that north range. Come on, Peter. Hey, you know, boys, it's tough after making this ranch a paying proposition for old man Turner. Getting these goats to see it drifting into the red. Yeah, and if this rustling keeps up, he'll never get that beef contract out on time. I can't figure out who these cow thieves can be. Yeah, or how they keep getting away with it. Take that rope for a souvenir. Good idea, Jeff. You know, Tex, I had my eyes peeled all the time. Kind of looking for trouble. Yeah. You were looking for trouble, all right. Well, you, you see, you know, you know See, uh, that's Tootsie Wootsie. Tootsie Wootsie. Yeah, that's Tootsie Wootsie. Yes. I'll need $500 to come to you, my love. Well, you know, I was figuring on drawing my money out of the savings bank and, and, and sending for it. You what? Why, you big, long, lean, lanky drink of water. Well, she wouldn't, she wouldn't. Ain't we having enough trouble on this ranch without you bringing some female here to mess it all up? But Tootsie Rootsie ain't that kind. So I'm telling you for the last time, this is a man's ranch. And if you want to stay my pal, you better lay off. another bunch of our cattle. You don't mean it. Yeah. Having trouble again at the Triple X, Joe? That's right, Mr. Thomas. And what we want to know is when you're going to do something about it. Great Scott. Ain't we scarred this entire country till we're green in the face? Yeah, we ain't seen hiding a hair of that rustler. I'm getting suspicious, I am. Suspicious of what, Sheriff? Well, it's mighty funny. There ain't nobody being molested but the Triple X outfit. Ah, uh, take it easy. Wait a minute, Joe. You better get going. I guess the sheriff knows what he's about, all right. Well, all right. You mean you think it's an inside job? Well, I don't know. If it is, Tex Mason don't know it. He's been too much on the level with that boss of his back east. I'm not so sure about that. So you made it, eh? Yeah, about a dozen steers. Good. I just got a letter from old man Turner. He still refuses to settle. Oh, yeah? A few 
more raids like this one, and he won't have enough beef left to fill his contract on the first of the month. <laughs> You're right. And then he'll be ready to sell at your own figure. That's what I'm thinking. Keep me informed and watch your step. All right, boss. go to John Thomas for a bale of hay, huh? No, you're wrong. Peter? Mr. Turner left me a half interest in this ranch. He did? Gosh, and I thought we were fired. The last thing I do, I'm going to make this place pay. We're going to fill that beef contractor bus. Anyone that interferes in our business or lays down on the job is going to get what's coming to him. I'm with you, Dix. Of course, we're going to have a devil of a time doing it. Yeah, we'll... But I'm going out and buying enough stairs to fill that contract, and I'm starting right now. Come on. Sure. Hey, Dix, who's the other part of this outfit? Turner's daughter. His daughter? A female? What of it? We'll never see her. She's too busy doing things those city gals do, even though she's got a ring. Yeah, maybe. Come on, come on, let it go. Okay. Ah, dude, man. Yeah? And you said that we'd never even see it. and transact no further business until I arrive. Bump. I wonder who she thinks she is. Well, you know, I guess she's a queen herself. I seen one of her pictures one time. You know she... Shut up! Well, thanks. I'll tell you. Okay. With all this wrestling going on, maybe 
Maybe her idea of a new drink wouldn't be so bad as that. Say, listen. This is a business place, not a playground. She'll soon find that out. Well, I was just, just thinking that... Uh... What with? Well... Say, ain't you forgetting something? What? Well, the queen asked you to meet her train. Oh, uh, send one of the boys. Get the rest of those boys over on the east range. Round those yearlings up. Oh, all right. Hey, what's up, Ski? What do you mean, the queen? Do you see, the owner of the ranch died. He left half interest to the daughter. She's coming out on the train. Hey, how about me meeting you? Ski. <coughs> I'm the boy to meet the lady. Ah, go on. You wouldn't know a lady if you saw one. Well, Skeeter, I... Well, wait a minute now. This ain't no pleasure resort. This is a place of business. And me being the foreman, I'll meet the girl. You guys can go along if you want to, but you better get dolled up a little. Wait till I get that shirt of mine on, and I'll show you a lady. I suppose you can't get that shirt of mine on. Oh, 
Well, it always looked so simple when other people did it. You'll have to get back here. I've got to ride right up there. I guess I'll hold your hand. Get back here? Right there. Well, most embarrassing. You just let me hold you, Mrs. Peters. I feel... Uh, Why I didn't you send Pudge in with a buckboard after him? Not 
Well, I figured on... Uh, you on... never did figure beyond that long nose of yours. She might have been killed. So, you were text me. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank you. You did very well for having a broken arm. A broken arm? I haven't got any broken arm. Skeeter well, told me that you couldn't come to meet me because you'd broken your arm. Oh, you did, did you? Well, you know, boss... Go get that horse. I don't mention myself, miss, but I had plenty of important ranch business to attend to. Oh, indeed? Yes, there's more to do without standing around on top of this hill. Come on, you can ride this horse oh. home. Skeeter, help the lady on that horse. But I, but I don't want to get on this runaway horse. No, he won't run anymore today. Oh. You'll be all right. Oh, but I'm afraid. No, just get right there. He'll he'd be all right. Oh. Peter, you walk. The lady will be more comfortable. Come on. Oh. Oh, but, Mrs. Peter, I think I'd feel more comfortable if you just hold my hand. Had a steers I bought yesterday. Aren't you presuming somehow? Presuming? Yes. Since I wrote you, I had other plans for the ranch. Were you serious about that crazy dude ranch idea? Well, I certainly was. Besides, you should have consulted me before writing any checks at all. Yes, but don't you see, we had to make that cattle shipment before the first of the month. Besides, with the market flooded the way it is, we're lucky to have that contract. And if we don't fulfill it, then we haven't got any market. We won't need any market for anything since we're going to have a Jude ranch. And we'll have to have the cattle for atmosphere. Oh, atmosphere. Take that check over there. Skeeter, give me that check. You heard me. Give me that check. If you don't do as I tell you, you're fired. He's not fired. Skeeter, give it to me. And don't stop till you get there. Say, what do you know about running a ranch like this anyway? How dare you? Ah, uh, you like to see it going to the red just to get your own satisfaction like all the rest of the crazy females in the world. Oh. Well, anyway, I told your father I'd make it go off at the place, and I'm going to make it go off at the last thing. What's the matter with you? Oh, nothing. Just having a little argument, that's all. Another argument with Mr. Mason? Yes. Well, go, go. out of horses? Ah, oh, that little fool. She's a, she's a foot of sweet, but the way she, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just like all the sour pickles down in the cellar. Oh, but Dex, she ain't got a no warts. Addie, I've got his goat. Where? Don't be silly here. He's mad. Thoroughly 
furious. I'll have my way yet. You'll see. Not if I knew anything about men, you won't. They're different out here in the wide open spaces. Dear me. <laughs> Just you wait. Oh, here comes Mr. Thomas. We're going for a ride. I don't like that man. I don't like his face. Why? He's one of Father's old friends. I can depend on his advice. All right. But I'll have nothing to do with him. How do you, Miss Turner? How do you do, Mr. Thomas? Before we go riding, could I talk over a little business with you? Why, surely. Won't you sit down? Thank you. You know, I made your father an offer on this ranch, which he accepted. Really? Of course, things have changed now. But I think you should encourage Tex to sell. Why, I... I don't think... Oh, that... the price is good. And besides, I'm afraid Tex is not capable of making a go of this place. Just what is your proposition? I brought the papers along with me. Yeah, boss. Uh, I hear Miss Peggy say that today is, what do you call it, first day. Oh, yeah? Hey, sure. Uh, yes, uh, oh, yeah. Well, Jake, uh, as long as that's the case, you better make one of those special cakes of yours for supper. That's uh, just the what I do. Uh, as long as you're in town, you might pick up a few, uh, you know, those special candles, too. Yeah, that's uh, just the one I think is some more. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Mason. Hello, Tex. Oh. Mr. Thomas has just offered us a very good price for the ranch. Is that so? Yes. He says it started as father's own proposition. And I think that it's... Bonnie, I never heard anything about it. Probably my father wasn't in the habit of discussing his business with his employees. Oh. Tex, now that you have an interest in this ranch, I think you should look at things sensibly. A triple X is not for sale. I'm very sorry, Mr. Thomas. He must have indigestion or something. No, it's not indigestion. Why, what do you mean? He hasn't told you that this ranch has been molested by rustlers, has he? You mean cattle thieves? Exactly. No. Well, your father knew of it. I don't want to say too much, but you can draw your own conclusion. But surely you can't mean that. I'm only warning you the same as I would have your father. He was my friend, you know. But there must be some mistake. Why, I can't believe it. Well, we haven't the proofs yet. And perhaps it isn't Tex himself. But one thing is certain. What? It's an inside job. Oh. There, now, don't you worry your pretty head about it. Let me do the investigating. You're very kind, Mr. I do hope it isn't true. Well, let's forget all about it and go for our ride, shall we? Very well.
Wrestlers, but I've lost them. Huh. Losing them seems to be a habit with us, ain't it? Ah, oh, shut up. I'll oh, have this one in a minute. Don't let him get you down there. Concentrating on the fact that this is a cattle ranch? I don't care if it's an elephant farm. You shan't torture these poor, helpless creatures. I said let him go. And if I ever catch one of you abusing anything on this ranch again, I'll discharge you. All right, boys. I guess Miss Turner's right. It is kind of tough on the poor little devils. Let him go. Let him go. You know, it's nice to see that you're capable of being reasonable. That's nice of you, too, Mom. Well, I'll be... Shut up. Can I help you do your horse? Well, certainly. By the South Trail, Thomas. Here. Take that and beat it to town. What? <laughs> now, what color do you suppose it better be? Get some uh, blue and pink. <laughs> Just a little idea of my own. Don't worry about that. You know, Addie, Jake told me Tex was responsible for that birthday cake last night. Yes. And he was so decent about the branding yesterday. I think I've been a little unreasonable. No doubt the way your father spoiled you. Do you think he'll understand if I show him I'm sorry for my silly attitude? Well, I... <laughs> Miss Turner, Tex would like to see you outside for a minute. Why, of course. Oh, Mrs. Skeeter. Who do you think I'm making this for? Well, I don't know, ma'am. For you. You see, uh, since the branding's out, we had to identify our stock. So I think I've found a way that'll meet with your approval. That's awfully considerate of you, Tex. What have you done? Come on, I'll show you.
ribbons off those steers. Can you imagine him blaming us for his ideas? Oh, oh we can't. Oh, Come on. Come on, let's get it off of him. I'm tired of being a gopher. Hmm. So much nicer than being on a horse, isn't it? You know, I really don't care much for horses. I, I like the indoors. But of course you, you belong out of doors, don't you, Peter? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Howdy, Miss Bennett. How do you do, Mr. Thomas? Warm, isn't it? Yes, isn't it, though? So? Oh, uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. Oh, oh Miss Turner. Miss Turner. Hello, Mr. Thomas. Howdy, Joe. What is it, Joe? If you don't mind, Miss, I've got to talk to you alone. Excuse well, that's me. That's all right. Well, uh, what's wrong? I was riding herd alone this morning on the west end of the roundup. I suddenly see a couple of rustlers making off with some of our steers. Yes? One of them looked sort of familiar. So I trailed them as far as the river. Who was it? Well, of course, I ain't sure, but, but one looked like Tex. Tex Mason? Well, what did I tell you? Joe, but you're not sure. Well, only, uh, unless... This fits his horse. What do you mean? Well, I lost the trail at the river. But I picked that up at the same spot. There he is now. Say nothing of this to anyone, Joe. That's all. Yes, ma'am.
And if this shoe fits his horse, it only remains to find out where he's hiding the cattle. Oh, Mr. Thomas. But I can't believe I it. am convinced that he stole from your father all along and is now robbing you. Please let me handle this alone. If it's true, I'd rather just forget it and simply end our partnership. I think you're quite right. Well, uh, the boys are out, you see, but I, uh, I slipped away to, uh, well, I had to, uh... To lose to... this? Is that mine? you get this? Mr. Mason, you'll sell out your interest in this ranch to me immediately. After that, I hope you'll have the decency to get out of the presence of respectable people. Hey, wait a minute. Would you mind telling me what you're talking about? I needn't pretend to me, Tex Mason, because that horseshoe was found on the trail of your rustling. Rustling? No. I don't want to prosecute you. That's why I'm insisting that you sell up to me at once. Otherwise, I'll have to call in the sheriff. Oh. So that's it, huh? All right. What are you going to do? I've got a beef shipment to deliver, and I'm going to deliver it. In the meantime, you can call in the sheriff or anyone you like, but you'll never get the satisfaction of buying me out. We gotta get them cattle across the border tonight. Yeah, I seen the sheriff snooping around the other ah! side of the ridge. Well, I got Morris. another plan now. At 12 noon, Joe's gonna tip off Tex Mason that a gang of strangers have his cattle corralled up here. He'll be alone. And when he rides in here, I got you. Got him. But where's where? I was herding some trays out of the hills over there, and I saw the whole bunch of them. They've got our stairs corralled in Dead Man's Gulch. Dead Man's Gulch? Yeah. That's great. There's only one way out of there, and that's through the pan. You round up the boys and follow me, and I'll go ahead. All right. Hurry up. You've got your orders. 
I'll go get the sheriff. All right, boss. Come on, boys. Get them horses out of the way. Uh, hey, Bob, you got a 30-30? Yes. All right, get it out. Get the shell for it. Hey, move that paddle back a little bit. Thank you. I see him come out of the harnesses shop, you know. <laughs> he no stop for nothing when he get a dose. He's so excited, he don't notice that he's a horse throw his shoe in the street. What? Yeah, and then it's a funny thing. I see Mr. Thomas, he's a come out of the bunk and pick up the shoe. Oh, hey. I suppose eh, Thomas is going to give the shoot to Tex eh, when he see him. Oh, Jake, I've been an awful fool. Yes, ma'am. I'll find Tex over on the North Range, won't I? Yes, ma'am. If they get ready now for the big drive to the to the railroad station tomorrow. I'd send this to place, it's a golf book house. Well, I tied his horse up there so I'll look at home. Now, Mr. Mason, in a little while, the sheriff will be here to catch you with the goods. In the meantime, I'm taking no chances on your outfit, keeping the terms of that thief contract. Take him in the house and tie him up. Go on, Go on take him in. Thomas. 
Sheriff, we got Tex Mason with the goods. Tex! Yes. Steve Cook and I trapped him, herding a bunch of triple X cattle into his hideout. Steve's holding them there now. Right. Get the boys. Go on, get your horses. Now, wait a minute till I get my coat. He's on the other side of the range somewhere, miss. I've got to see him right away. Well, you wait here and I'll round him up for you. Got away, Sheriff. He did. Which way did he go? That way. I think he went that way. I think he went to his ranch. Come on, Sheriff. We can get him. Everything is all set, boys. The coast is clear. Come on, let's go. All right, here we go.
clothes. Hey, hey! Yeah, say! Who started that stampede? Well, I don't know. I just noticed it myself. <laughs> Miss Turner's right over there. She is? Yeah. That was close, was it? Just a minute. Dirty double crosser. You've been stealing my cattle right along, haven't you? Hey, get on. Yeah. Yeah, who's yeah. with you on it? Thomas. Thomas? Thomas. He oh, paid me to so do it. Oh, so that's the one, huh? Who else is with you? <laughs> no one. Just Thomas. He paid me to do it, Tex. There he is. Shut up. Oh, I see. Now, wait a minute. Listen, Joe. Tell the sheriff what you told me a while ago. Go on, tell him. Uh, Thomas is the head of the wrestlers. He made me do it. Yes, Sheriff. He... Get him, boys. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute there, Thomas. You ain't going nowhere. Come on. Get walking, Joe. Peggy, we'll uh, wind up that beef contract, and then, uh... And then? Uh, and then, uh... And then what? Are you going to let me finish this or not? There. I want you to read it. Oh, yeah. You know, being a lawyer, he's used to shop. But I bet this will surprise him. 
Yeah, especially when he wanted to bet you'd only be out here for a week. <laughs> now, you give me this, and I'll send Skeeter into town with her right away. All right. Just because you said that, now I'm going to make you finish this whole pie. There you are. Now, excuse me. Now, when I get you a cup of coffee, I'll, I'll be right back. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have a, a double wedding, doesn't it? <laughs> Wasn't that just very enjoyable, wonderful, classic entertainment? And it's timeless. Westerns are timeless. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Make sure you check back with us often because we're going to have a lot more Western films for you to view here online for free. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail. <laughs>